so Tristan, obviously we, we talked a little bit off, you know, before we start recording here, but uh, what was your reaction going a hundred, one hundredth to the New York Yankees? An absolute blessing. I mean, all glory to God. I mean, he was, he was watching over me the whole time. I mean, obviously it's, it's dream come true. I mean, it, the stigma behind being a Yankee is, is, I mean, you're, you're a hard nosed player and, and you're a clean cut dude. And, and there's a lot of expectations behind being a Yankee and they have a lot of expectations as an organization. So it's, it's pretty, pretty exciting to be able to put my name down. And it's like a, for how them, to, for them to have me have my name called is, is, is awesome. I mean, it was a blessing and I'm completely grateful to them. What was that moment like hearing your name? Surreal. Um, it was kind of just like all the hype from the season was, was kind of building up and people were like, oh, you're projected this round, this pick, like kind of thing. And then they, you actually hear your name called and it's like, whoa, uh, this is like, it's real now. And then you get all the phone calls afterwards of like, hey, we want you down here this day. We want you to go on this day. And it's like, it's happening. Like this has gotten real so fast. But at the same time, there was also a portion of it like, did they really just call my name kind of thing of like growing up as a baseball player and a baseball fan, it was always the dream to play pro ball. So when it finally happened, it was kind of just like an overwhelming rush of joy. It was awesome. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, so the Yankees, a team that, you know, I know you from covering you here, you're a pretty meticulous guy. When you think of the Yankees, like you kind of think of that style of play, you think it'll fit your personality well? Yeah, I, they've, ever since talking to them, I mean, obviously they, they follow, all the scouts follow you throughout the season and, and talking with them, they, they're big into like the organization along with like Houston and some other the organizations in the league, they, they, they're a big numbers team and they like to, they like to go by the numbers and they like to say, this is what you're doing well, this is what you're doing well. And then we can like fix upon things that, that you are doing well and they aren't doing well. So it's like, being able to buy into a program that or buying into an organization that uh, is all about that, that number game. And personally, I like to be about that. A part of that number game is, is pretty exciting. I mean, it's to say the least it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. You know what? I, I didn't ask you, I should have, where, where were you watching the draft today? I know today wasn't on TV. It was online, but were you, I assume you were watching it. And where were you watching that? I was watching it with my friends and family at home. Nice. Back home, tri cities then, right? Yeah, nice, man. So you had a big old group. How, what was the room like when you heard your name? It wasn't like a big old group because I didn't want a lot of people there. Okay. I wanted to like make sure it was kind of just like within my like close-knit group. So it was like my family and then a couple like of our extended families. And they, um, as soon as they, as soon as they called the name, it was, it was pretty, pretty exciting. And it was more of like, I really didn't have a lot of emotion to it because I was just sitting there kind of like shocked. And then like all my family members were like, oh, like going crazy. And yeah, I mean, it was kind of just like a hit me like a freight train. I mean, it was all, it was, the room was energetic for sure. I'm sure, man. And, it, you know, going back to the season, I'm thinking back then, you know, we were talking about this being a possibility down the line. But if I told you at the start of this season, hey, at the end of all this, you're going to go in the third round of the Yankees. What do you think you would have thought if I said that? Heck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Love it, man. What's the plan now going forward? Oh, man, the plan is to just continue doing what, what we've progressed to do throughout college and obviously, like, improve upon um, the stuff that my coaches at Gonzaga have taught and, and continue to be the, the man that they've taught me to be and continue being the player that they've taught me to be um, and just – become a pro ball player and, and perfecting the craft and going forward, throwing innings for a pro ball team. It's going to be, um, it's exciting and it's going to be, it's kind of nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's like a good, a good nerve wracking. It's going to be a good test. So. Right. And so uh, on top of that, um, I know there's still a process. You got to sign contract and all that. Have they mapped out the plan for you at all for them and starting pro ball this summer or are you not at that step yet? Yeah. I mean, they want me, their plan was kind of just get me down there as soon as possible. They want me down there as early as the end of this week. And um, which I'm excited about. I mean, just getting it rolling and getting it going is going to be um, the first step towards, towards the ultimate goal of being, being in the big someday. And um, yeah, I'm just ready for it to get going. And they're, they're excited to have me 
get down to the complex in Tampa and, and get going too. So it's, it's quick moving and quick pace. So it's, it's, you don't have a lot of time to think. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, man. All right. So, uh, you know, day one, Gabe, highest drafted Zag ever at 10. Then you get you today. Then right after you is Kempner. Yeah. And then we have Brody, Jesse, too. What is this like for all you guys to get drafted, you know, in this same draft? Pretty crazy. Um, just looking back to, like, the years that we played together. I mean, it's it was always our goal to get drafted and, and play some pro ball together. And, I mean, frankly, I mean, all of us are all over the place. I mean, Kempner's in San Francisco, Gabe's in Colorado, I'm in New York, Brody's in Cincinnati, and it's it's kind of all over the board. And um, it it's exciting because, I mean, it's we can – even though we're so far apart, we're still going to stay connected and we're going to still push each other. I mean, um, you're going to see stats of, like, Kempner throwing 100 miles an hour or – Bro, or Brody going out there and punching out the side or Gabe going out there throwing seven innings. And um, it's just kind of a, it's a cool thing. So. Definitely, man. Well, what, when did you find out about Kempner? I imagine you found out you, and then you're going crazy over there. The six picks later, there's a will. Would you find yeah, out I, later? I was outside talking to one of the Yankees guys and I come back inside and they were like, um, Kempy just got picked to go to the San Francisco Giants at pick 106. And I was like, whoa, what? Like, that was fast. Like, two of us, bang, bang, like that. It was yeah. awesome. I mean, it was it was really, really cool to see him. Also, it's really cool to see him stay stay in his area and and be, be a kind of a hometown hero there in San Francisco. It's going to be pretty fun to see. 